So in this problem, we're told to find the most general antiderivative of the function. We're given the function f of x, which equals x times 6 minus x squared. So what we should do here is just simplify it, and then we can try and find the antiderivative. So let's just do 6 minus x squared first. So 6 minus x times 6 minus x. Let's use the FOIL method. So 6 times 6 is going to be 36. 6 times minus x is going to be minus 6x. Minus x times 6 is going to be minus 6x. And then minus x times minus x is going to be plus x squared. And then we'll combine like terms. So 36 and then minus 6x plus minus 6x is minus 12x plus x squared. Then this is just 6 minus x squared, and we're multiplying it by x. So multiply this by x, we'll have 36x minus 12x squared plus x cubed. And so this is what our new function is going to be. So our new function is f of x, which equals 36x minus 12x squared plus x cubed. We basically just rewrote this in a better way. And then now let's find the antiderivative. So we're trying to find uppercase f of x. So let's find the antiderivative of 36 times x, so 36x. So we just need to do 36 times the antiderivative of x. So the antiderivative of x is going to be uh, x squared over 2, because we just add 1 to this, so it'll become 2, and then we divide by it. Then we're multiplying it by 36, so it's going to be 36 times x squared over 2, which just becomes 36 divided by 2 is going to be 18, so it's just 18x squared. Then now we're going to do minus 12x squared. So we do minus 12 times the antiderivative of x squared, which becomes x cubed over 3, because we add 1, which becomes 3, and then we divide by it. Then we're multiplying it by minus 12. So it's minus 12 over 3 times x cubed, which is just minus 4x cubed. Then now we need to find the antiderivative of x cubed. So we just add 1 to this, so it's going to become x to the 4th, and we divide by 4. So plus, so that's just 1 over 4 times x to the 4th. Then we're not done, so we have to add c, because whenever you take the antiderivative of something, you just add some variable to represent a constant, and so we're just using c. So 18x squared minus 4x cubed plus 1 over 4 times x to the 4th plus c is going to be the general antiderivative of this function.